everyone. Um, my name is Emma Parry and this is my first video on YouTube. I've just been so embarrassed of in front of the camera. Um, I've tried it once before when I was a bit younger and my boyfriend actually made fun of my video so I deleted it. And I'm now, I think I'm ready to give it another go. I mean, I've been blogging um, on my blog, um, which is Cheeky Smiles 101, and I really, really enjoyed that. But I really feel like things like January favourites, um, doing actual makeup tutorials just might be nicer to do actually on videos so people can see them and enjoy them a bit better. Um, I hope you don't mind my setup. Oh, I'm obviously going to be playing around with it, seeing how it works. Um, and uh, yeah, my cam. I'm actually using my MacBook as a camera, so please excuse quality and yeah, and the mess over there. <laughs> and you'll be seeing Jacob quite quite a bit. So yeah, let's get into my first video. And I thought the best way to start um, was January favorites. Um, January favorites, favorite videos are one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube. I love being nosy. So and. Yeah, I just wanted to share my favourites with you. So for me, um, January favourites tend to be what I got for Christmas, um, things that I've been trying out uh, from that. Um, it's my, ber my birthday was about two weeks ago, so I have a few things for my birthday as well. So yeah, let's let's get into it. Start with foundation. I've been absolutely loving my, the Giorgio Armani Maestro. I'll bring it a little bit closer. There you go. Uh, you've all probably seen it before. Um, it is the Fusion Makeup, and it's very, very similar to the L'Oreal Nude Magique um, foundation, which is obviously the um, the dupe that everyone's been talking about. And I did purchase that first, and I did like it, but wasn't a hundred percent crazy about it. Like I thought the finish was it was very nice, but definitely wore a lot around my nose and any dry patches at all in your face. It was. I mean, dry patches aren't really a problem that I have, but if you do have any problems with dry patches, I definitely steer away from both of these foundations. But I've been loving this one and prefer it to the new Magique for the simple fact it just feels so luxurious on the skin, it's so soft, hasn't broken me out, and it lasts a lot nicer. And I feel like it wears really nicely on the skin, like it doesn't like patch off, like it just slowly fades because. The point of this foundation is it's just pure pigment on your face. So as you buff it in, the oils evaporate away and you're just left with pure pigment, which is lovely and your real skin shows through. I have it on right now. As you can see, there you can see a bit of my spot scarring, which to be honest with you, like a bit more concealer and everything like that, it just does the job, but this is just lovely. So light, luxurious, highly recommend. Another makeup item I've been absolutely obsessed with. I have jumped on the bandwagon like most people on the internet and it is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils and get closer to you. And it is in the colour Train Bleu which is a gorgeous vampy purple. Absolutely stunning. Match my hair. <laughs> and I bought this um, I think it was just for my birthday and I, no, I did not know I lie. I bought it um, before New Year's and I wore it on New Year's Day and I at um, New Year's Eve and I absolutely love it. It's such a gorgeous lip pencil. It lasts so long for a very long time and you can just swipe it on and it's so easy application because it's in a pencil form and it honestly lasts so long. I went for dinner, I went for drinks and it lasted all night and it was absolutely wonderful. Highly recommend. If you're not on the bandwagon, it's a very good bandwagon to be on. I'm talking to Ali Cleave over. I'm talking to Living Life in Docs right now. Get this pencil or get at least one of them. I will definitely be purchasing more, I can assure you. And the final makeup item that I've been absolutely obsessed with, and I really want to make a series on my blog called Cause Sam, Sam Said So, which if people know Sam Chapman from Pixie Woo, I've been watching them all my life and she recently in a video recommended the MAC Liquid Last Liner which looks like this. It is honestly the longest lasting liquid liner I've ever used and I have used a lot of liquid liners as you will see in my videos and if you read my blog you'll see Cat Eye, uh, the feline flick is 
tends to be my go-to look for most days. So this, honestly, I don't like the brush. Like, that's the one thing about it that I will say. Like, the brush is not my favourite. Favorite. I mean, in terms of liquid liners, like I tend not to like the brushes anyway because I feel they're a bit messy and they make your eyelashes all clumpy and all that bad stuff. So, but I use my MAC 210, I think, 210 brush for it at the minute and it just honestly lasts all day. Even if I did this to my eyes, like rubbed them in the rain, it won't come off. Like, you need an oil based cleanser to remove this from your face. When I put it on my hand in the morning as like to mix it, the, the stain on my hand doesn't come off unless I use an oil based cleanser. That is how good it is. 100% recommend. It's so cute. The packaging is cute. It's adorable. The packaging is so small. Look, the size of my hand, and that's how big it is. So, love. Thank you, Sam. You've opened my eyes to this amazing product. I don't think I could use anything else. So that's it for makeup, specifically makeup items. Um, everything else has been pretty constant. Um, there was another product. I didn't. I wasn't sure if I should include this as a favorite, but um, I decided to in the end, just because I love it so much. And I got it for my birthday. Total surprise. Um, I was speechless when I got this as a present. Um, but I got fortunate enough to get. The Trish McAvoy Makeup Planner, and this is the True Romance Special Edition, um, Special Edition one. And oh my goodness, just can we just take in this gorgeous, the gorgeousness that this is? Like, I absolutely have been talking about this for so long, and I've wanted one for a long time for travel purposes and just ease of application and all that jazz. But I had no idea that my lovely sister would go and get me a set, which came with. All this loveliness, well, I've cut up this couple of MAC shadows in there, but got foundation, lipstick, got two pages, which is incredible, and all this lovely stuff in there, and lip liner as well. I mean, I'm not going to review the, the products inside yet, like I haven't, I've only used them for a few weeks now, but this as a wonderfulness, as a on its own, just the planner itself, 100% recommend it if you're especially going to travel. If you're a big traveller, I recommend get, getting one of these. They're so worth it. I honestly, when I got it, it had, it had like 10 products in it. And look how small it is. And it will always keep its shape as well. That's one other thing I like about it. Is that even if you haven't, like, there's not much stuff in it really, and it still remained its shape, which is really helpful. So that was a little addition there. Uh, now on to some skincare favourites. Now my skin has been not happy at the moment. I don't know what it is. Something that I've used that has definitely made it um, slightly drier up on my temples and my eye and dry area is just going crazy and I don't understand what it is. I really really rain back on my skincare and not and not been using anything too harsh and really just pull everything back to the simples and like really bare. Um, so there's nothing really new there. I, if anything, I've taken stuff out of my routine just so my skin can calm down and come back to a nice equilibrium, which is where I wanted to be. But I, but my rest of my body has been pretty awesome because of this baby. This is the Kiehl's Creme de Corpse Body Lotion. Now, this is a cult product and been talked a lot about on the internet and is loved by Viviana Does Makeup, Lily Pebbles, and I actually went to their event in December at the Kiehl's shop in London, flagship store, and they were talking about this as one of their favourite products ever. And granted, it is a very expensive body lotion, which is upsetting because it is absolutely gorgeous, and for body lotions, I'm pretty lazy with body lotions, but since buying this, I have been 100% on top of my body moisturising, which is a first for me, trust me. It's, I'm such a lazy girl when it comes to body moisturisers, but this is wonderful. And I was fortunate enough to get this in the sale because of the limited edition packaging from Christmas. I actually got, uh, I think it was 20% off on it, which was amazing. And honestly, I'll probably be repurchasing this when it runs out, and I'm just trying not to use it too much because I just love it so much, but it's absolutely wonderful. Makes my skin just feel awesome. And there's not much fragrance which I actually quite like because I think that makes it less greasy on the skin. So it's really, really nice. 
and then I thought I'd mention a fragrance that I actually got for Christmas now it is the Diesel Lover Dose, the original the original one um, there is another version as well as the tattoo one which my friend has which she loves as well and this is just a really soft um, fragrance it's just really, it's quite sweet, like I really like sweet perfumes and I really I really like sweet perfumes and I love I love this when I first put it on but I will say something with this from on me that doesn't last particularly well so if you like your perfume to last all day then maybe this wasn't isn't the one for you but for an everyday perfume I honestly think and I got it as a Christmas present from um from my boyfriend um I think it's a lot it's a lovely perfume and I asked for it and I wanted it for a while and I just love the packaging the packaging is adorable like a dagger in the heart and it's just oh I love it love and for the final favourite, I can't actually show you because I'm filming on it right now, it is my Matfield Air, which I was gobsmacked I got for Christmas as a present for my parents. Um, again, I just love it, it's amazing, I love Apple, I have my Apple phone and I just absolutely, I'm obsessed with it, the quality of the, the product, it's wonderful and I, I can't thank my parents enough. And I've been just obsessed with cleaning it, okay? Final thing I will show you in conjunction with that favourite. Um, I went on Amazon and I actually purchased a cleaning kit for my new MacBook Air, which is a little bit sad maybe, but hey, and it came with a it came with this awesome brush. Now it does look a bit old and tatty and it's fraying, but it was two pounds something for this set, and you just clean it, you just can clean it and there's no fingerprints and I don't know with the Apple screens if you get this, but I see, I feel like every, all the dust is attracted to it, which is a bit annoying, but I suppose that's, that's life. I think I've, it's the only computer, like, I've been so obsessed with that I've been, like, cleaning it constantly, like, and you can track it, like, ooh, you dropped it. <laughs> you can get them up and down, and it's just, it's wonderful. So if you go, you have a Mac and you're pissed off with, having to clean it all the time, get one of these babies, they're really cool. So that is the end of my January favourites, um, I hope this video wasn't too awkward for all of you, I'm sure I will get the hang of this whole videoing malarkey, I'm sure things will change like uh, setup wise um, and hopefully this works for you and Maybe one day my camera will be better as well, but for now we'll stick with the MacBook Pro. Well, that was really awkward, Emma. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I will hopefully, I'm not sure yet what my uh, video schedule will be, but probably from the start, it'll probably be one video a week, or like every so often I'll do another one. But I'll try and make it regular because. I love watching videos and I'd love to be a part of the YouTube community more than I already am. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!